Hello, and welcome to the broadcast. This is DJ, founder of the Duransburg International, Seven Spheres of Money. Thank you for joining. Uh, Hermie, Salon, thank you for joining. I'm about to drop some serious nuggets on why the seven spheres of money is so important for your success. So tell all your followers, tell all your friends, tap on the screen and send this to them. Okay. So we're going to make this short, sweet and to the point. Hello, everybody. I'm DJ. Welcome to the broadcast. Welcome to the replay. I'm going to give you guys some explanations on what the seven spheres of money are, because I've had people asking me, you know, what is the seven spheres of money? So I'm going to share with you what the seven spheres of money is today and exactly why the seven spheres of money is vastly important to your success in your business. OK, so here's what I want to do. I want to take a quick snapshot. All righty. This is the DI seven spheres of money. So if you want to take a snapshot of this, I'm going to go over this real quickly to the point and explain everything to you line by line. So the seven spheres of money covers seven spheres of money and everything from finances, accounting, insurance, banking, legal planning, real estate and estate business planning. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is why finances are so important for periscopers to be on top of their game. There's three important things you need to know about finances. You number one need to know how much emergency fund you have set aside in your personal business. You should at least have three to six to 12 months if you're striving to become financially independent. Accounting, that's your tax planning strategy. What should your tax uh, planning strategy look like? You should have taxes, withholding, quarterly, yearly, legally paying the least amount of taxes without tax avoidance. OK, insurance. This is very important because insurance covers protection and protection should be looked at in three phases. Your personal insurance, your business insurance, and most importantly, your income insurance. That means if your business or you lose the ability to perform in your personal earned income situation or in your business income in income situation, you ought to have protections in place to actually keep your money coming in. Banking. Banking is going to cover a couple of different fields. It's going to cover mortgages, loans, capital raising, payroll and investment. And banking should look at payroll floats. What's the best rates I can get? Legal, legal planning. That's the proper entity structure. Non-compete, non-disclosure agreements, type of contracts that you're venturing into. If it's a partnership, if it's uh, a collaborative relationship or revenue sharing, uh, you know, proposal that you're sharing on Periscope with a multiple different Periscope owners, you need to know what's the proper legal structure in order to one, make the most money two protect your enterprise and three, to give your clients the best opportunity. Number six, real estate. A lot of people on here are real estate investors. A lot of people on here are real estate want to be investors. And there's different types of real estate that one can invest in residential real estate, commercial real estate, land development, commercial development. So there's a bunch of different type of real estate vehicles that can help you become independently wealthy and by utilizing Periscope as the platform. So you need to know how to do that, when to do it, and what's the proper vehicle to put that real estate in. And last but not least, you need to know about estate and business planning. You know, this is a wealth strategy. This is a succession plan when you created wealth. How do you transfer that wealth? You know, when do you have not enough money and when do you have too much money? And you should be looking at trust foundations. What's the proper trustee and what's your succession plan? OK. And most importantly, you should be looking at the new math that actually will help leverage you and make quantum leaps in your financial freedom. The new math is not one plus one equals two. It's one plus 11 
I mean, one plus one equals 11. Team equals success, okay? So let me come back. All right, and let me share with you why these things are important, okay? We're gonna make this real simple because here, here's what happens in the world of business. In the world of business, what happens is when you come in contact with these seven spheres of money, generally you're working with a person that is in a commission mode, a fee mode. So that person is generally not looking after your best interests. But there's nothing wrong with that. They're going to give you high quality service if you know how to vet them with discernment. So what we do here in the seven spheres of money, we actually help you go through these processes to actually find the best professionals to work with in finances and in accounting and in insurance and in banking and legal and real estate and estate planning. And generally what you'll find out is that if you can take these people and put them all together as advisors that are not competing for a commission or a fee, but they're actually working for you to go out into the marketplace with their expertise and bring information back to you like a orchestra that's actually making a beautiful symphony, you will actually have the best success that one can get, okay? But most times, people who are endeavoring from professionals to self-employed to business owners, They generally only have maybe one to three of these professionals working in concert together for their benefit to leverage them financially. So what you need to be able to do is actually turn that around and get yourself a team that can work in unison with you. And if you are on here and you are making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month on Periscope, I ask you one question. How is your team working for you to actually leverage your finances, to actually make your money, go out and make money for you? If they're not teaching your money to make more money by acquiring three types of assets, then they're not doing the best that you can get for their service. Okay. so again, let's go back and let's recap what the seven spheres of money are. How you doing, Backpack? Welcome to the broadcast. Why don't you share this with everybody? Let me show you what the seven spheres of money are. Okay, here's what the seven spheres of money are. They're finances, accounting, insurance, banking, legal planning, real estate, and estate business planning. When it comes to finances, the first thing that you should address is what is my emergency fund for me personally and for my business? What is my income, my earned income? And if I'm going to leave my job, how much money do I have to have in order to leave my job? Most cases, in order to be secure to leave your job, you need to double your monthly income. And you need to do that for at least 12 months if you're going to do it right and never have to go back. How much passive income do you have? in order to become financially independent, in order to you not to work for somebody and be your own boss. Your passive income should be equal to your earned income and you should have that passive income coming in consistently for six to 12 months before you leap out into the water and actually quit your job, okay? The third thing, insurance. What is your personal insurance? What is your business insurance? And most importantly, if your business is making money for you, what type of income protection do you have on your business income? If you were to get hurt, if you lost your ability to make money on Periscope, and let's say you were making $5,000 a month, would that money all go away? Or is it passive money? Or would you need something to actually bridge the gap? There's actually vehicles out there to provide that for you. Number four, banking. Banking is very important. Do you have somebody out there working in concert for you to tell you about proper, proper, I mean, proper capital, proper mortgage rates, proper loans when it's the right time to get a loan, payroll float? What's the best rates I should get on my money when I'm investing my money with banking institutions? Legal, legal plan. What's the entity? What's the structure? Do you have an NDA in, in, in place? Do you have a non-compete in place when you're doing these strategic partnerships? And who is negotiating the contracts for you? Real estate. Real estate comes in a variety of different vehicles. There's residential real estate. 
There's commercial real estate. There's land development. There's commercial development. There's speculative real estate. So as the bubble burst in 2008, a lot of people who were real estate investors, flipping houses, things of that nature, they took a bath. So you need to have somebody on your team that's an expert in that area that has been there, done that, seen it, so they do not panic. Does that make sense? And then number seven, estate business planning. Most people never get to this part because one, they don't think that they need estate planning. But you know what? Estate planning starts as simple as with only $50,000 in income. And so what you should be able to do is actually set up a wealth legacy strategy, a succession plan, a transfer plan, and that comes into contact with basic stuff. And you know what that basic stuff is? It's real simple. You know what? What does my trust situation look like? When do I set up a foundation? Who's my trustee? What's my succession plan? If something were to go great and you have too much money and you're making too much in taxes. So at this point, you would want to make sure you pay the least amount of taxes in corporate, personal, and not avoid tax. Again, not avoid tax, but pay the least amount of tax in personal, corporate, and not avoid tax, but aggressively hit the IRS tax codes. But if you don't have a professional on your team that can provide this experience, expertise, then guess what? Easy come, easy go. Okay? So share this with your followers. Tap on the screen, share with your followers, and let them know how powerful of seven spheres of money. So again, let me come back to you. All right. So this is what we do. And this is how we help you. And you have to look at your structure and say to myself, do I have any advisors? Do I have anyone on my team? Or when I'm pursuing advisors or I'm pursuing experts, are they competing for my $1? Because take it this way. If I had $1 and that's all I had, but I need to have at least two or three of these professionals giving me the best advice, the best coaching and the best direction, would I have to worry about them competing for my dollar? And at the end of the day, would I only have 20 cents left of that dollar? Or would they be working in concert to create an incredible symphony to give you a masterpiece of success and apply new math where one plus one equals 11 because you now have the seven spheres of money working together going out into their specific industry and actually giving you the best advice for you to actually consult with them to make the right decision at the right time. This is what the seven spheres of money is all about. And this is how we help people in the real world. And this is how we help people in the Periscope world become financially independent. This is the secret to success after success has been achieved. Again, this is the secret to success when success has been achieved because many people are high income earners. Many people have run successful businesses, but a lot of times when those things have occurred and they weren't prepared for success because they didn't have the right team in the place, guess what happens? They end up losing their wealth. They end up losing their riches and they actually go back to less than what they had before. So let me go back and recap this again, and we'll start giving on a weekly basis more insight into every field and every sphere of the seven spheres of money. So hold on one second. Okay, as again, I always forget how technology works, so I'm going to have to do this backward. So again, hopefully you can see that. That is the seven. Well, that's actually backwards. Well, let's see here. Okay, there we go. Good. So here's what we're going to recap. What are the seven spheres of money? DI seven spheres of money, family finances 101 covers all things pertaining to money. Category number one is your finances. What is your personal financial situation? Do you have emergency funds set in place to actually be a bridge to actually prevent you from going backwards? Does your business have enough cash flow coming in in order to make the financial jump to the next level? Third thing, when the money is coming in well, are you managing it properly? Number two, accounting. Are you doing the proper accounting tax planning for you personally? Are you doing the proper accounting tax planning for your business? These are very important things. 
Are you paying more taxes than you should be paying because you not you have not mastered the IRS tax laws to your advantage? We don't want you to avoid taxes. We want you to pay the least amount of taxes that you legally should by setting up the proper vehicles. Number three, insurance. What type of protection do you have in place? Not only for you personally, but for your business. And then most importantly, if you have achieved personal passive income through Periscope, do you have an income interruption plan when it comes to protecting your income? Number four, banking. Are you pursuing the proper banking relationships with your banking professional when it comes to mortgages, when it comes to raising capital, when it comes to getting loans, when it comes to payroll float? And what are the best rates that you should have for your team? Number five, a legal plan. What is the proper structure? Number one, if you're going into partnerships, first thing you should have is an NDA or a non-compete clause. You should also make sure the contract is in your advantage so you're not at a disadvantage. When should I be self-employed? When should I be a corporation? When should I be an S corporation? When should I be an LLC? Or maybe a general partnership or a limited partnership. These are some of the things that you're also gonna have to concern yourself with when you become financially successful by using Periscope as your platform to generate money. Number six, real estate. What type of real estate am I investing in? Am I investing in residential real estate? Am I investing in land development? Am I investing in commercial real estate? Am I doing master leases? Am I doing commercial development properties? Am I doing you know, substitution of collateral? When you start to create massive income, guess what? You're going to be at a high tax bracket if it's not all passive income. So now you need to get a real estate expert to actually show you how to take advantage of leveraging your assets and actually to take advantage of the tax laws as well as you're making money. And last but not least, number seven, estate business planning. How do I set up a proper trust? How do I set up a proper foundation? When is a great time to create a 501c3? Who's going to be my trustee to over steward my possessions? And most importantly, what's my succession plan since I created all this wealth? And that's what we call the seven spheres of money. And the new math is not one plus one equals two, but one plus one equals 11 because team equals success. I'm going to say that again. Team equals success. So you have here on this platform, this is the seven spheres of money. And guess what we've done? We've done some incredible things. Well, real good question, Backpack, for a self-employed person. This works real simple. First thing you do is you actually take inventory of where you are. So the first thing that we'll do for you is actually send you an actual document that actually go over some simple things for you. Uh, hopefully you can see this. First thing we'll do is we'll work out a plan. Second thing we'll do, we'll look at your debt structure. Third thing we'll do is look at your skill sets and how that can actually be maximized. If it's increasing your hourly rate, it's if it's increasing your target market, if it's actually increasing the tax advantages that you're not taking advantage of, so it's a multiple ways that this can work for a self-employed individual. N number two, and most importantly, are you putting money aside? Do you have a Roth IRA? Do you have a SEP? Do you have an individual KEO 401k for you out there providing services for individuals as you make money and you putting a little bit aside? How do I go from being self-employed to creating a business system? This is actually how the seven spheres of money can briefly help a self-employed person. And again, Myself, I was self-employed and guess what? I actually found and created my own system which is called the seven spheres of money and it created a system which took me into a business and the business went into automatic pilot because I have all seven of these advisors that are constantly quarterly, monthly and yearly advising me on what's the best exit strategy for my business. What's the best succession plan for my business? What's the best protection for my business when I go from zero to $50,000? When I go from 50,000 to 75,000? When I go from 75,000 to 100,000? And then when I go from 100,000 on up, what are the best planned strategies of action? Because here's a tip, Backpack. 
They've already done it. They've already been there and they have done it many and many times again. So now I don't have to make the mistakes that the novice makes. I actually can continue to focus on growing my business and doing what my business is designed to do for me, which is create financial independence and have a palm palm lifestyle. So this is going to wrap it up. If you like to get a free consult with us, there's our number. We'll give you a 15 minute free consult. Just reach out and call 866-395-3042, 866-395-3042. Call us now. We're open 24-7. And better yet, if that doesn't work for you, you can always reach out and you can actually contact us and we'll give you a couple of free chapters of the book at info at So I want to welcome you guys to the broadcast. Welcome to the replay. And this is what the seven spheres of money is all about. So when you guys hear, hey, this is DJ, the founder of Duransburg International and the seven spheres of money, that's the seven spheres of money. So remember, we want you to live a pom-pom lifestyle and come join us on the beaches of the World Club. Have a great day and go out there and take action.